Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an error in Windows 10 where it says that some files are missing or have problems. So we're going to go about addressing this problem hopefully without too much of an issue. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in settings. Best match should go back with settings here. You want to go ahead and just lock on that one time. You want to go select the Update and Security tile. Select Recovery on the left side. And then underneath Advanced Startup, start up from a device disk or DVD, such as USB or DVD. Change Windows Startup settings or restore Windows from a system image. This will restart your PC. Left click on this Restart Now button. Select the Troubleshoot option. Select Advanced Options. Select Startup Settings. And then left click on Restart. You want to tap the F5 key on your keyboard, so the function 5 key should be near the top of your keyboard, so again F5. Click on that one time on your keyboard and that should begin launching this utility. Okay, so now that you are in safe mode, we want to go ahead and open up the start menu. Type in File Explorer. Best manager should come back with File Explorer. Go ahead and left click on that. Select this PC on the left side. And now go under whichever drive Windows is installed on. It should say Local Disk in the name of it, so go ahead and double click on that. Double click on the Windows folder. And now you want to scroll down to Software Distribution. Double click on that. And now you want to delete everything in here. So just highlight over everything. Right click and then delete. Once that's done, close out of here. Restart your computer.
Okay, so hopefully now if you're trying to run a Windows update, it shouldn't have any issues. One further thing you can try would be to open up the Start menu, type in Troubleshoot. Test match to come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and left click on that. Scroll down on this page until you see Windows Update, resolve problems that prevent you from updating Windows, and then select Run the Troubleshooter. Give it a moment to work here. Okay, so once that's done, close out of here. We're we'll just restarting the computer, and hopefully, I would have been able to serve as an alternate solution. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. Do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.